You know, so one of the many reasons to come to Farmington Garden is to see their vegetable display garden. I'm here with Linda Shively. And Linda, I love that you guys have done this. And you've been doing it a few years now. This is our second season. Uh, we, we, we set it up to showcase how a small garden might look. Um, we could have made it larger if we'd wanted to, but we wanted to have it be roughly the size a home garden could be. We wanted to show some vertical elements and how to uh, maximize your space. So, well, um, it's absolutely wonderful, and it's been a you fun know, project. it's got to be uh, right now. Look at the tomatoes. Yeah, I know <laughs> so they're, they're pretty amazing. If if home gardeners are growing tomatoes, you know, a lot of people really started gardening this year. Yes, and the weather has not been the best for it. It has not been. So, give us a couple of tips because these look beautiful. What have you guys been doing at your home garden here? To make them so beautiful? Well, our soil is, is really excellent in this bed and therefore these tomatoes um, were full of foliage, much more than the plants needed. So one thing that we've been doing is going through and thinning them out. You can see how you can see daylight through them. You mm -hmm. want to be able to have air and light circulating through a tomato plant. Um, it keeps diseases down. Um, it helps with the ripening process. This tomato over here actually needs a little bit more thinning. It's starting to get quite dense again. But, and the cage is falling over. And the so cage heavy. is falling over. We need to get a stick in here and pull this guy up because he's falling over. But he is so loaded with tomatoes. But the thinning process is helping to ripen them. And, and I see here, like this, by thinning, this is where you've cut off the new growth. That's, that's where the that, tomatoes yeah, are. we've been we've been tipping them. What we what you want to do at this point? See this branch up here? Uh -huh. There are green ones further down, and then it's blooming at the ends. We want to keep this branch from continuing to flower. These are indeterminate, and they will just continue to vine and bloom. But in order to keep these green ones. To enable the green ones to ripen, we have to pinch off at this time of year the um, the blooms. And isn't it funny how all of us despise doing that because we I think, know, we're, but it really makes the plant better. It'll help <laughs> it finish ripening. So all of these green ones now, if we tip them, we'll have um, the, the energy to... from the plant will go into those green Perfect. tomatoes. And these are I, I stole one earlier. They're really, really good. This is the sun gold. <laughs> this is what wins at our tomato festival every year. And you know, speaking of tomato festival. Yes. Today is your annual tomato festival. This is our fun day here at Farmington Gardens. We look forward to this all year long, as do our customers. Uh, we bring in as many varieties of tomatoes as I can find around the local area. They're all local tomatoes. We use, sometimes we'll have up to 120 varieties. Um, and I, I've been here for it, and I tell you, it is so much fun it's to taste all of these different tomatoes. When you, We group them by color, so you can sample all of the cherry tomatoes side by side. You can sample all the, the red ones and the yellow ones. Um, and they do have slightly different flavors. They it's really, really do. interesting. Yeah. And different textures. And beautiful. The colors so are just beautiful. Pretty. Yeah. Well, you know, now, now Saturday is the tomato thing, but also yeah. you've got Latour coming up. So Latour, yes. That's just the kickoff for a whole host of things going on. Let's. I, there's so many you have to look at a list, don't I you? I do. <laughs> I have a little list here because I, I can't keep track of it all. But today during the Tomato Fest, we are having at 11, Chef Dan Brophy will be doing his uh, food demos on... Always um, fun and always, always delicious. Fun. He'll do that at 11 and then again at 2, new recipes at 2. At 1 o'clock is our tomato talk, uh, so you can learn all about how to grow tomatoes here in this climate and what, what are the best varieties and how to do it. Um, tomorrow, Chef Dan Brophy's coming back. He's going to do a new talk on preserving the harvest. Wow. So what do you do with a whole, you know, garden you, full of produce? You're not going to eat them all in one day. No. So. <laughs> and in order to live locally and sustainably, if you can put some of this aside for winter, um, it's all the better. Well, so you know. He'll have lots of tips for that. It is always so much going on at Latour, and it's certainly to find out all the specific information for each nursery. And, and you want to come out to Farmington, go to their website. You can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over there, find out all the great things that are happening. Linda, thanks for the info, and Thank we look forward so to tasting much. tomatoes with you. Thank you. Come on out. <laughs>